Welcome. So now we're going to get into customization a little bit. We're going to cover two things, device configuration and policy management. So those of you who are used to deploying uh, Office 365 and Workspace ONE might be familiar with the whole idea behind you have an app and you have a, what's called a configuration XML file, which basically says what to give it with Office, like you might want to install Visio or Project or what have you. And so the way you, the way you do that is you, how to create that file now. It used to have to manually create it in the old days. But more modernly now, you know, we're going to call this Cinterx config.xml. We're going to say we want to go 64 bit. Give me Office 365 apps for business. Um, let's say I want Visio Professional, volume licensing. Let's say I want Project Online Desktop Client. Good stuff. Do we need anything else? We'll just put access runtime in there for fun. We're going to say current channel, latest. And you can go here and say, yeah, we don't need access. We don't need Teams because Teams is already there. Yes. That kind of stuff. And then you kind of get into language. You know, and you say English. You can even do some stuff. You know, we're going to use the Office CDN. We want it to be silent. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll shut down running applications. Uninstall MSIs, you always want to do that because the plan is always to go click to run. Sure, we'll let it un uninstall whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter. You kind of get the idea. This is interesting. It automatically populates a, a license in there. So we'll go, you know, we're just, we're just going to leave most of it like this. I don't have to get too more crazy. This is kind of fun. And go next. We're going to leave application preferences alone because there's a better place for that. And then when we hit done, it's going to save it. And then we download. We'll just keep current settings. I'm going to download. And you see here, when we open the file, let's open a notepad real quick. It basically creates what I would have created back in the day, this whole thing. So that way you, you actually zip that up with your binary and you're able to kind of deploy it out. What's also neat as well that they let you do is go in and if you don't want to do that and you just want specific, like already built ones, you can actually go in here and you can actually click download and it'll actually deploy it down for you which is super simple and super easy. When we get back, we'll talk about policy management.